Whenever I would attend classes, my professors would make snide remarks, oh, we think it's cute that you're here, oh, it's, you know, wonderful that someone that looks like you thinks you can, you know, be a critical thinker or a problem solver. Hi, I'm Shreya. I am a senior software engineer at BuzzFeed. Hi, my name is Brianne C. Martin, and I am an advanced manufacturing engineer for an automotive manufacturing company. I actually started learning computer science when I was in high school. I had an elective open, and my parents suggested I take a computer science course instead of an art class. It kind of just clicked, and I realized that it was something that I really liked doing, and it, it came naturally to me. In college, I just decided to take it as my major after taking a bunch of classes and, and realizing that it seemed like a field that I wanted to get into. So I actually got really interested in engineering because my mom, had she known what engineering was, was actually very inclined. She was very good at math and science. I was always very fascinated by math and science because it was the one thing that challenged me. I had to work a little harder and once I got it, it just was a sense of accomplishment that nothing else really gave. My love for math and science and the application of the whole world around us really got me intrigued, especially in mechanical engineering to which I ended up going to Marquette University, a thousand miles away from home down in South Texas. Even in college, I was one of maybe five women in computer science in classes of like 200. I was only one of two Hispanic female engineers. Whenever I would attend classes, my professors would make snide remarks, so oh, we think it's cute that you're here, oh, it's you know wonderful that someone that looks like you thinks you can you know, be a critical thinker or a problem solver, and it's just kind of something I've gotten used to. Someone who I one time worked with, he wouldn't let me type. Like, he was my partner on this project and he just kept pulling the laptop away and just doing all the work and he'd be like, oh, you're too slow. That happened a, a few times with different people. As a tooling engineer, I would get called to the assembly line anytime they had an issue putting something together, it didn't fit right. I'd go down to the line, I was like, hey, you know, I heard there was an issue, um, to which the response I received was, well, we actually called an engineer. So I ended up having to play it off a little with a joke and say, you know, oh, well, sorry I didn't wear my engineer hat today, but I promise I'm a girl. My fellow coworker would go and say, oh, hey, I'm your engineer. They would never get questioned. I was very hurt because I had something I had worked for really hard. Here I am to help and serve, and the whole reason I became an engineer was to help solve problems. And yet these people question my ability in order to do so. When I was at my first job, I asked for some technical feedback one time. I had a manager who gave me a bunch of really soft skills things like maybe you should clean your desk or keep your desk less cluttered. Like people perceive you negatively because of that. There were a lot of people who worked there whose desks were also cluttered. A lot of them were male. I don't think that they've ever, they ever got that kind of feedback. I came out of that meeting very upset. I was just like, I want some technical feedback. I want someone to like help me improve. And all I'm getting is you should clear your desk. In the engineering industry, a lot of times I'll get feedback that I'm too aggressive, that my emails are too direct, that you know if I get upset or tell someone I'm disappointed in them, it automatically goes into, well, why are you being emotional or don't get upset, when in reality it's, I have a high expectation and this is what I'm asking to be met. I had just given a talk and I was at an after party and a colleague approached me and told me that I didn't do well on my talk. He had been like, oh, that was, that was pretty bad. I was taken aback and it was weird because I also had gotten a lot of feedback that the talk was, was really great. It just seemed like he was trying to neg me or trying to talk down to me. It was inappropriate. It made me feel weird about giving another talk. Like only recently, like once I came to BuzzFeed, did I kind of like gain back that confidence that like I'm good at speaking, like I can, I can do this. It's just weird because that one experience still sticks with me and like makes me feel less confident sometimes. So on a trip for an international uh, business issue that we had going on, we flew to France to support a customer. As we even just got on the plane uh, at the airport, you know, my fellow coworkers thought it would funny to start saying, oh, we're so glad we have Brienne here to be able to make our sandwiches and take care of us. They're trying to push some buttons um, up until a point where it got a little hostile to where they would say, oh, carry my bag, or oh, I need you to do this, or hey, would you mind wiping my face for me? Then it went a step further where we're actually with our French coworkers some of the mechanics asked to go you know, get cigarettes or whatever in the nearby town, so I offered to drive them. It took a little longer than expected, and on our way back, I started getting text messages that were saying like, oh, Brian's taking too long, she must have been being tossed around. Something that's so personal to me is I haven't actually experienced sexual abuse, so making a joke about me being taken advantage of, especially around my French coworkers, was something really upsetting. It took an escalation, right? It didn't just happen out of nowhere. It started with these simple jokes and then became something that was absolutely atrocious. One 
piece of advice that I have is find the other women who are in the STEM field. I think having some type of support system, it's kind of nice for even those microaggressions that happen where you just need someone to like double check, like, did I just hear this right or am I overreacting in this way? Having that kind of sounding board is really important. So my advice, if you're interested in STEM or engineering, don't be scared. Anything worthwhile is gonna be worth a fight. Don't doubt your own self, your own skill set, your ability. You can learn any and all skills. So bring your own self to the table, whatever personality, strengths you have, it makes a huge difference and we need you here in industry.